It is that time of year again, and college students around the country are getting ready to head back to school. Maybe you watching us this morning, you have a loved one that is going to start at a university, a college somewhere around here, maybe far away. So we know that there are some butterflies. We know that there are some nerves. We want to make sure that we set up your children, your loved ones for success. So we have assembled our star team <laughs> of News for Jack summer interns here. Want to welcome Emily Swenson from UCF, Sydney Pollock from Howard University, Zachary Sampley from UNF, Sierra Richardson from FAMU, and Kate Nystrom from Appalachian State University. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. You guys have survived college so far. So first of all, <laughs> I want to say congratulations. Thank you for not getting kicked Thank out. You. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> you know, keeping on with that routine. We want to talk about studying about success and ultimately graduating with that degree so that you can gain some employment. So Emily, want to start with you. You're obviously, all of you are in some sort of broadcast track. You want to work in television news, behind the scenes, on camera, something like that. How do you make sure that you stay focused and stay successful? I would say the best tip I have would to be make friends in your classes because once you get to your junior and senior year, you're all in the same program. So on the first day, I would try and make friends who stay next to me, and then we would have study groups, and we'd all keep each other on track for when the test is and exams and things like that. Don't cheat, though. No cheating. <laughs> no cheating. No I'll hold her to that. <laughs> all right, so before we get to you, Sydney, I want you guys to raise your hands. How many of you are, are A students? Be honest. All of you? I don't even have to yeah. go to that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like somebody's not being here honest. <laughs> But I'm not going to call them out because I just don't want to do that, and I don't want to be wrong on TV. How about A, A B? A, B. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> and next he's going to be like, oh, I'm C, D, something like that. <laughs> we'll get to you in a minute, Zach. Sydney, want to hear from you because you are at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Yeah. That is a long way from home. Yeah. <laughs> you are out of your comfort zone. Definitely. How do you make sure that you excel at what you do? So I make sure that I always have my planner. And when you get to school, you get a syllabus. And I go into my planner and into like an app on my phone and I put in what major tests and like major papers and things are due. So that when it comes up a month later and your professor may not have reminded you it was due, you're not like, oh my God, it's due and I didn't start it yet. You kids have it so easy nowadays. <laughs> you know, we used to have to have this planner and a calendar and then you'd write it and keep it above your bed in the dorm. Yeah. Not for you. You got the Apple Watch there, Zach. I, I mean, do. I keep does track that of help? Does technology, it actually your smartphone does. and all that, actually, do you use what? Mm -hmm. Google, Apple, what is it? Yeah, I, uh, it's good because it pops up the calendar uh, for work and for school. And it pops up for um, driving to the campus so I know uh, where I'm going which is important. <laughs> How many years have you gone to UNF, man? Three. Three years and you still need directions Traffic. there. Traffic in Jacksonville. There you go. Waze is a good app. Sierra, you are at FAMU yes, in yes. Tallahassee. Uh, we know that you are a go-getter. You're trying to achieve. You're trying to be on air one day as right. a reporter and anchor. What do you do? What are your tips for people that might not necessarily be going into broadcast, but, you know, any kind of career because it is all about being organized, planning and being the best you can be. My best advice with them would be to go after any opportunity. Mm -hmm. Don't be, don't think that this may not be for me or this may not be the career goal. Try everything you can just to say that you did give it a try because you never know that might lead to, to another future or another field for you. So be open to different opportunities. Always ask questions and just be open-minded as well. So. Okay, and Kate at App State I got to say, I don't work with you too much because you come in at what time in the morning? Five in the morning. You come in at five in the morning. I might supposed to be in at five in the morning, but I don't come in at five in the morning. So you come in, I will say that the morning show crew absolutely loves you. They say that you're going to get a job, no problem. You're the star of the morning. What do you do to uh, become that and to make sure that everything that you do is the best uh, of your abilities? Well, I think when I'm at school and I have to study, I think my biggest tip is finding a study space that's right for you. Um, I think for some people, like me, the library can be too loud, too crowded, too noisy. Um, so I like to pick a spot that I can just get all my work done. That's why I actually like coming in at 5 in the morning. It's quiet. I can just do what I need to do. So just pick a nice space that works for you. And then everybody else comes in around 7 a.m. and becomes And then it's just a whole new ball game. <laughs> Finally, has anyone cried? Cried over college? Not yes. yet. 
No. Yes. 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 <laughs> we, we had those moments. You, you, you will cry. It's okay it will to cry. Right. Yeah, Definitely. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. Exam week it will get you. It means you care. You. Right. It yeah. means you care. <laughs> and, and someday, to all the kids out there, I'm, I'm preaching like I'm <laughs> much older. It's been 10 years. Someday to the kids out there, though, you know, you are going to miss it. So certainly cherish it and enjoy it. And reach out to all of these people because they can help you out. They can be resources as you go through this new journey.